Scandalous stories ran through the nation. New York was no longer safe for Burr, physically or legally, so he fled to New Jersey. After staying for a few days, he went to Philadelphia. News of Hamilton's death had reached Philadelphia by the time Burr did. There, he found people gaping in wonder to see him walking free while publicly labeled the murderer. The news from New York over the following days was not good. His friends had been forced to testify about the duel or face jail. A grand jury had concluded that Burr had murdered Hamilton and that their seconds in the duel were accessories before the fact. It was a declaration that stunned America. The vice president stood accused of a capital crime and was now a wanted man. 